Gray cloudy days, it's gonna be a great, great, gray cloudy day. Oh, well, it's a uh, good afternoon right now. Um, welcome to the channel. Gray, cloudy day. I am Gray Cloud. Sage of the eternal moment. And, uh. If you could, hit that like button. Thank you. In advance. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Good news today. Good, good, good news today. Um, a member of the community here, uh, Great Cloudy Day community, um, Teresa, uh, she's been subscribed to the channel from early on. Um, I was blessed to find out she's still around, you know. I hadn't heard from her in a, a few weeks. And uh, we talk pretty regular. Or we were, you know, over the past few years, she's become a really good friend. And, you know... Her and her husband, and there's things just going on and stuff happened. But the thing is, she is still here with us, and uh, yeah, uh, just shouting out to her. Um, I'm going to do a video. I'm just going to read from 50 Things That Really Matter. And uh, also, I want to say I appreciate uh, Tara. Um, Yesterday, you making that comment on Facebook to the old dude, I appreciate that. Um, I don't know, man. It's just people are weird and they need to, they just got to have something to argue about or to try to counteract something that's going on good or whatever, so... Let's not talk about all that. Let's get into it. This is number uh, 17, and it is kindness. Kindness. I'm going to put the glasses on just for good... I mean, my eyes are a little blurry, so... Here we go. In college, I was among a great... <clears throat> In college, I was among a group of student activists who constructed a makeshift shanty town where we planned to sleep to raise awareness of homelessness. On the night of the event, a group of men living at a nearby emergency shelter found out and asked if they could join us. A few students were afraid of getting closer than we'd planned to witnesses. Then we'd planned to witness of the harsh issue we were tackling. But our visitors turned out to be kind and gentle souls who kept us up all night telling their stories. We learned how three of them had come from Mexico intending to make money to send to their families. When they found no work, they had become stranded. One guest was born in an orphanage and said being homeless was simply the only way of life. He knew my favorite Earl, my favorite Earl, which reminds me of a friend of mine named Earl. Anyway, um, was having trouble. Okay. One guest was born in an orphanage and said he was homeless. Being homeless was simply the only way of life he knew. My favorite my favorite Earl was having trouble getting back on his feet after spending time in prison for a minor crime. 
Nobody thought enough of him to give him a secure place to live, but as he showed us, he was brilliant enough to design plans for an entire underground city. The next morning, we left our new friends and made our way to the school cafeteria. The cafeteria staff served us mounds of waffles and omelets, which they said were on them. We knew there had to be a powerful force at work to make things turn out so well. The college administration could have panicked and tried to stop us when we revealed our plans to sleep in cardboard boxes. The homeless man could have e easily been cynical and dismissed the students as pampered do-gooders. We students could have rejected our homeless visitors, fearing the stereotypes that were simply not true. Instead, we all shared a cup of true kindness and were better for it. This experience taught me that when it comes to kindness, there is very little difference between who is giving it and who is receiving it. And we all have access to the exchange of warmth and nourishment, kindness, <clears throat> and we all have access to the exchange of warmth and nourishment, kindness, brings our souls. We just need to trust to open our hearts. The rest will take care of itself. I don't know, this, that don't, anyway. Oh, I read it wrong. The experience taught to me that when it comes to kindness, there is very little difference between who is giving it and who is receiving it. And we all have access to the exchange of, of warmth and nourishment. And we all have access to the exchange of warmth and nourishment kindness brings our souls we just need to trust enough to open our hearts the rest will take care of itself exactly uh, i'm not gonna redo this video it's you can hear a horn honking i thought somebody was out there and everything i'm it's fine A lot's going on here. A lot is going on and a lot of good things. A lot of good things. So, um, of course, there's all the bad crap that's going on in the world, but let's not focus on that. Focus on... I will suggest to anybody watching this today, focus on what you can do in your life, around your surroundings, and the people you encounter on a daily basis and interact with, whether it be in physical interactions or even on social media but the people that you interact with what can you do and that been but most importantly take care of yourself and uh your immediate health and all that kind of stuff and uh let the rest of the stuff take care of its own self because you can't do anything about it and i can't do nothing about it but we can work on ourselves and hopefully make the world a better place. That's the message that's been coming through me all day today. So I hope that this reaches the right people who needs it to hear this. Um, I'm very happy that there's some people that are, we have a community coming up here and just keep people in prayers. Keep, uh, you know, Teresa in prayer and um, anybody that, even people you don't know, just pray for them. Um, I'm going to end it here because that's about all I need to say. Thank you for being you, whoever you are watching this video. And uh, yeah, until next time, this has uh, been a very 
I, I'm I'm just in a lot of in a good place today, and I'm going to continue to stay there. So until next time, this is uh, Mr. Old Gray Cloud here, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. And you know how we say we love each other here. I love you, but I'm going to, you know, ditto. Ditto, guys. Ditto.